Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be teaching you how to change a texture color using GIMP. GIMP is a free photo editing software that I commonly use for avatar editing. It is, in my opinion, one of the most basic softwares to use, especially if you're just learning to get into avatars. Photoshop and other softwares do work, but I am doing it with the settings that GIMP provides. So if you are new or want to find out a new program that may ease your avatar editing, please continue watching. We are using Unity 2019. Please be aware that the Unity version for this does not matter, so of course it'll work with any version of Unity. Again, I am using GIMP, it's a free program, the link will be in the description below, along with the avatar in our scene today, which is Avery by Onigri. So today I'm going to teach you how to change the texture color using GIMP, so none of the Unity settings am I going to be playing around with. This is less of a Unity tutorial and just showing you how you can change the colors. So if we go to this hoodie right here, it's pink. The original color here, which is the original texture, is black. I couldn't slide around, I couldn't slide it around. This makes no difference if I slide around the color changer. If I play with the color adjust, it does nothing. So what do I do from there? I need to edit the main texture. This image right here is the main texture. It is what is appearing on your object. So it what is wrapping around the 3D object that you now see right before you. So how did exactly did I get this pink? Well, you are going to have to take your main texture for whatever you are trying to change. In this case, it would be the black. Save this to your computer in a spot that you are going to remember it. And please be wary. Try to keep your files organized. This is going on for the long run. I trust me, it'll be very helpful as somebody who has messy organizational skills. Try to keep everything separated by project. Once you are done that, you are going to open up GIMP. If I can open up GIMP here, this is GIMP. In order to open up a photo in GIMP, click File, Open, Find Your Photo, and then import it into GIMP. Now here we are. There are two color changing methods. There is color gradient and color exchange. One is more simple than the other, but the other is better for high detail. So let's say if you were to want to edit shoes, or you were wanting to edit something that had high detail, I would suggest using color exchange. It is a longer process, but I also suggest playing around with both to see what is better for your texture. Most of the time I use color gradient, but some of the time I like how color exchange works. I will be showing you both. First, we are going to see these two squares here. By default, these squares will be black and white. Now, pick your two colors. So I will pick, for the sake of the video, I will pick purple and white. Those are my two colors. From here, you're going to have your entire texture shown. At the top right hand, it says colors. Click that and go all the way down to map. From there, you are going to click Gradient Map. Instantly changed it to purple. You can do this, you can play around with the colors. Remind yourself that if you are choosing a new color, to Control Z, to undo what you did before you try a different color. Because if you do the color gradient again, you are making the purple and the white your base layer, which is just going to get more and more messy as you go. Now, for color exchange, it's super easy. If you already have your color that you like selected and you want to keep it, the HTML notation, your hex code, highlight that, control C, so you've copied it to your clipboard, click colors at the top right side, map to the side over here, it's going to say color exchange. The first white one, the first white color picker, on the side, grab your color picker and pick the most prominent color on your base layer. From there, the second color you are going to click and you can either choose or you can copy and paste control V into the HTML notation of the color you chose. From here, it's going to look very messy or not show up at all. So the best way to do this is to bring up the red threshold, the green threshold, and the blue threshold all the way to the end. Now, you can already see the difference that the color exchange changed from the color gradient is now, if I zoom in, you can see all of this detail. 
All of the detail is right here for you. That is why I personally use color exchange sometimes, but to me, that detail doesn't always matter in this half of the time, but if it does to you, this is a perfect way to do it. Now you are going to e file, top right hand, export as, and make sure you are exporting it as a PNG. If you are wanting a more optimized texture, export it as a JPEG. You're going to export that. You are going to open your Unity project back up. You are going to open your files up here. It's going to open up and drag and drop into your project. From there, you are going to click on whatever you wanted to change and drag and drop your now edited texture into the main texture. Mind you, depending on the avatar, depending on what you are changing, it may not look exactly how you want. That's why you got to play around with metcap settings, rim lighting settings, play around with emission settings, light and shadow. There are many other settings you can play with in order to get the texture that you want. I genuinely hope this helped and have a fantastic day.